Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. Let's try out an Eden run here. Obviously, you know, a little disappointed with the way, oh my god, we got undefined and we started with four pills on the ground, which I guess is mom's coin purse. This is a weird start. 4PPA7GD7. Alright, we'll give it a try here. Um, a little bit disappointed with how that last run went down. Except for the fact that we finally got real Platinum God, and uh, an item that we've been asking for for freaking forever. So, uh, I apologize for the fact that we did badly. We made a mistake. It's all right, it happens. We got real Platinum God and now we never have to worry about it again. Capricorn right off the bat makes this an extremely positive seed to start with. So I am gonna be using Undefined, but my intention is to, you know, we could actually access that chest over there, but I'm gonna just try to crack this open first. My intention is to um, undefined after we found at least one of the special rooms, because an error room really becomes less of a benefit and more of like a serious pain in the ass if we end up having to skip like a boss room or an item room in order to get it, but there's not much that we can really do about that. Like if we want to use the item, we gotta we gotta give it a try, and just hope that you get an error room that gives you, you know, uh, four items or something like that. Or four chests, or at least one item, I guess. Dingle fight should not be a problem. You know, we already picked up Capricorn, the second best all stats upgrade in the game, I think, by popular convention. I believe Magic Mushroom is considered the best because it carries a uh, damage multiplier instead of just, just a, a mild damage increase, but still, I'll take any of them the game wants to give me. I'll even take experimental treatment, which lowered our HP. I actually think it did raise our damage, just based on the size of our tiers. It might have raised our rate of fire as well. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. It always is. Hopefully this isn't a sacrifice room here, but I'm a little skeptical that it won't be. Because I want to uh, use Undefined. <sighs> of course. We're going to go to our curse room, though. I think it's worth it, and it uh, objectively was. That's a positive start for us, but unfortunately it does mean that Undefined will be ready like as soon as we go down to the next floor, and I'm not really for that. Uh, our better use of it will probably just be to hold on to it for a little while and maybe use it after we go to our boss room in particular, because I don't want to skip out on our chance for a deal with the devil. What I will be trying to do is maybe buy as many like battery charges from the shop as we can. I, obviously there's only going to be like maximum one in the shop per floor, but uh, still, that would, uh, you know, if it gives us a chance of getting one more error room over the course of the run, I'm fine with that. Thought maybe we'd find a secret room there. Little Gish is a totally fine item. Happy to have it. And for once, you know, I'm actually happy with the experimental treatment pickup as well. Oftentimes I end up feeling real salty about it, but this one has been pretty good. Got lucky to find the boss room early enough that we have a small chance of getting a full charge on our uh, Undefined to use it twice. Very small chance, I'd say. Swallowed Penny is acceptable, and let's go fight our boss. It's gonna be Pin. Slow Pin is like extremely annoying, so I'm glad that it'll get some resilience to the, the little gish effect, but it'll also be dead super quickly here. And Pageant Boy is not what I was looking for, but might allow me to buy a battery charge in our shop if there's one for sale. And our deal with the devil is Gimpy. Gimpy is worth buying, in my opinion. And we get the deal with the devil precedent. And we're, like, survivable. All right, we got a free teleport. There we go. So we ended up missing out on our shop, but we got a trinket of our choice. I'll take butt bombs, and you know what? I think for money's sake, I think Lucky Rock is the best thing we got for us here. That was actually a fairly effective use of that. We missed our shop, but we probably weren't going to go to our shop anyway and buy anything but a charge. So, like, I doubt we were going to pick up an item in the process, so I don't feel like we missed out very much. And butt bombs plus Lucky Rock allows me to pretty much get as much money as I want. The Gimpy pickup is not technically going to be too willfully effective until we actually have the ability to get like a blood bank or something like that. This is why I like these Eden runs, man, because, you know, you get these items that you would never get right off the bat. In fact, you know, Undefined itself, I think it's a secret room. It might just be an item room pool item, but it's, it's pretty rare to show up. And to have it right off the bat instead of just get it on the chest, which is where it seems to normally show up, is, uh, is nice. Feels very good. We can have a run that we would never otherwise have. Now, I'm not going to play Eden forever, but we might do three Eden runs in a row here just to mix it up a little bit and then go back to random and then do some more Eden. Because Eden is not included in the pool, you know. Actually, a, a friend of ours, like mine and my wife's, got us a series of dice. 
for Christmas. I've never had dice before. I mean, I've had a D6, because, you know, I've had board games before, but uh, I've never had, like, a D20 or a D8 or anything like that, so uh, I think... I haven't looked at them closely, but definitely there's a D20 in there. I think there might be a D10 as well. Uh, with that D10, I would uh, maybe just random outside of the game so that it ends up being true random. We'll see, though. I'm not that obsessed with the... I'm not that anal about that stuff. I shouldn't say obsessed. I'm not that anal about that kind of stuff. So I don't really uh, mind that it's not a true random, but I do wish that Eden was included in the random. We got Punching Bag. It's okay. Not that great, but... Uh, it's all right, especially for enemies with like beam weapons that it can trigger or I'm thinking of specifically of like uh, Krampus's attack is really nice when it uh, goes towards punching bag instead of towards us Again, just waiting until we see if we get a deal with the devil before I pop uh, This is a really rough boss by the way for this floor But seeing if uh, we get a deal with the devil before I start popping undefined like crazy here And that punching bag is distracting like three monstros simultaneously here. I like it in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, Eden can't get picked in random, and apparently random is not really random with respect to the other characters as well. There's a, an increased chance of some characters showing up and a decreased chance of some characters showing up. That's what I've heard, anyway, from reputable sources. Magic Mushroom for free is just stupid. I love it. I'm not going to take Ghost Baby. We'll undefined. And there you go, Error Room. Again, we missed out on our shop. This time it's a little bit more shitty. Because we did have money, but we picked up four spirit hearts for it. Un Undefined is doing real well for us right now. I like it. I love it. And I would perhaps enjoy having more of it. Bad guess. I found pills. We'll just get it out of here. This one's the wild one. Balls of steel. Oh, wow. Okay. So I don't know if maybe we're already at the HP cap. Maybe we shouldn't take balls of steel. We should just hold it for now. Doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. I forget what I was talking about, but about uh, like random characters. Oh, I was gonna go on a little bit of a not a rant, but I was gonna give an impassioned plea that if the if the devs are listening, if it doesn't compromise the original vision of Eden too much, it would be so awesome if there was like a preference checkbox where you could put on Eden like random yes or no. I know that there might be the occasional person out there. Might even be the majority of people, I don't know. But there's going to be people out there who um, will be like, well, I can scum up Eden tokens by just randoming her, and then, or like, you know, I guess you could make it so that if you random Eden, but you don't have Eden tokens, it just goes to something else. But, like, so many people, maybe it's biased because, I, you know, I talk to other people who play a lot of Isaac, but so many people have a ton of Eden tokens, you know? It would be awesome if Eden showed up in random. The reason I have a ton of Eden tokens is because Eden doesn't show up in random, and I random all the freaking time, but it would be nice. Just think about it, you know, I don't want to step on your toes too much, but it would be nice if, uh, if that's the way it worked. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% the right way to do things, but it would be awesome. My Canadian is showing a little bit too much. Yeah, fucking... Stupid devs don't allow you to random Eden. It's fucking bullshit and the game sucks and I've been playing it for 300 hours and I'm starting to get bored of it. What was even the point of my $5 per- well, it's a $15 purchase. Anyway, I'm just having a, a laugh. Let's move in here and uh, again, you know, our strategy has been working out pretty well for us. So I'm not planning too much on using are undefined before we find item room, possible deal with the devil, etc, etc. We'll just use it after, and then if we can buy a charge from our shop, we'll do so. It's basically like paying a five cent tax per floor. Uh, well, we, we got lucky that we had... That was not very smart. Hey, maybe it was. Um, we got lucky that we um, found a secret room with a charge in it, because we wouldn't have otherwise been able to get one. So we'll have two plays, and hopefully we'll be able to... Like, I want to use... Undefined as value added, not like weird value substitutions, right? I wanted to add value to a run instead of uh, swapping it. I don't think that's a dumb idea. We're probably maybe skipping our item room here, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to get another charge on this anyway by this point, I feel. It's good to know the Lemon Party is part of the rotation. We'll go back for our item room before we use uh, Undefined. We should, in fact, probably use Undefined from our uh, item room in order to decrease our chances of just teleporting back to it instead of just using it on a random room. I think that might matter. I don't know. People have told me that it matters. I don't know if I believe it. 
We'll take the left hand as a little extra, a little extra suspense to any run, right? Because I could just totally fuck it up and forget to drop it. I'm not gonna blow these up. Because we already have Magic Mushroom, and I think we're already pretty much at the HP cap. We're gonna be taking Balls of Steel with us down to the next floor anyway, just in case we're at the HP cap. I don't, oh, that was bad. I don't want to uh, blow it too hard here and end up wasting the, the pill. Might as well at least see where our curse is gonna take us on the next floor. So I'm assuming our item room is gonna be adjacent down here. I'm not gonna call this a one run yet. We are missing the one item that takes you over. We're missing the one item that, you know, you throw caution to the wind and you say, okay, this is a one run. We've got everything else. Everything else, the infrastructure's in place. There we go, we got it guys, poop. Problem solved. All right. Uh, that's our second secret room. So we'll go back into our secret room quickly and then we'll teleport out of that and we'll see if this works out for us. I doubt it, but hey, there's a chance. All right, well, we teleported back into the same room, so disregard my earlier comments about probability. Anyway, we'll be leaving now with the left hand, making great time. That was uh, Caves 2 at 10 minutes. We're like three minutes ahead, three and a half even, ahead of where you'd normally expect to be. In fact, we're probably about four ahead of where you expect to be. So that is a testament to how quickly this run is gone. Why has it gone that quickly? That's a good question. Technically, we shouldn't use Balls of Steel, but I will now. I know it makes me sound like a little bit of a hypocrite, but I figured we'd use we'd use Balls of Steel now, and I'll bl start blowing up Skulls for the chance to get a card that maybe could allow me to do Boss Rush for free. I know! I said Boss Rush. Everybody, take a drink. Know your limits, stay within it, and all that jazz, but still. It's a viable strategy, and it's a fun strategy at times. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, though. And I didn't know when to brush him, and when to rush him, and I was uh, I was rushing too often. Now, I think I can handle it a little bit better. I can handle my shit. You know what? How about you go fuck yourself? Just gave you a little something to remember me by, eh? Got lucky to dodge that. Left hand's paying out with a fuckload of double bombs so far. Big fan of those. Much appreciated. Uh, good. I don't... If we don't look at what's happening to... My best friend, or the punching bag over there in the corner. Then it doesn't, we don't have to recognize that it's happening. You know, we don't have to internalize it. I think that's good for us. It's healthy for our mental state. Because there was some dirty stuff going on in that general direction. That I don't want to have to think about, you know, existing on this planet here. Not going to blow up any of these skulls. Oh, good, a Skype message. It must be the right time. What is Mathis? What do you got to say this time, motherfucker? Better be important, that's all I can say. This is probably like the best marketing strategy he has for his channel. I'm gonna sign out of Skype. All right, here we go. It wasn't Mathis. I keep blaming him. I think I actually feel bad because now he stopped messaging me on Skype. That's what I get, you know? You, I've lost a friend as a result. Well, we still talk all the time, more than I'd like to. I'm being a little sarcastic. I have to say that and people are like, well, you're ruining the joke. It's because sometimes people go, whoa, why does Ryan hate Mathis so much, you know? People that have never been exposed to sarcasm before. Sarcasm on the internet has no tone. Hey, no, 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 text sarcasm on the internet has no tone. The tone of my voice should tell you something. Man, Northern Line's a real dick today. I'm not trying to be, but what can I say? The game said I was a real platinum god, and I've internalized that. That's become a part of who I am. Just me and... Uh, you know, probably like 8% of the player base, which is like 100,000 people or something. Pretty exclusive club. Smaller than your average metropolitan area, that's for sure. That's sarcasm again. Just, to, I mean, although demographically speaking, it probably is smaller than your average demographic area, now that I think about it. Or, uh, metropolitan area, sorry. Blood rights can basically go fudge itself. Now, thank you to everyone on that winning lost run who uh, went out of their way to tell me if it's a clean room, there is a black market. If it's a dirty room, it's just a trip down to the next floor. You can see that in action here. Pretty interesting tidbit. If you've already invested the two bombs, my guess is that, you know, most people would probably just waste the third bomb anyway just to see. But there's a little handy uh, tip that you can use to remember it by if you're... Uh, you know, really strat for bombs, which to be fair, I kind of am. Love this room, big fan right now. You know what? We're gonna blow these up anyway. Why don't we throw some bombs down? 
for the chance to kill those things. It worked exactly as I'd hoped. Fool card is exactly what we wanted. Sweet. All right, now we finally have some money. We can go to our shop, not fight greed. Maybe get a battery charge after we teleport. Sharp plug we'll pick up, because we can. Uh, and why don't we get this as well? Sweet. That's pretty okay. Should be a boss fight rapidly approaching. Our speed is so high, I didn't expect to get hit there, but I did tackle that last situation not super fantastically. Uh, sharp plug, I'm thinking, is awesome if we get the wafer. I don't really want that nickel for a bomb. We're already fine for money. Alright, so teleportation's coming in soon. And maybe this is my good, relatively risk-free chance to use a sharp plug as positively as possible. I don't like that at all. Blood plot, here we go. That is uh, the second secret room. And then we'll go back and buy the charge. Whoop. And... Oh, we can't buy a charge. We can buy the 9-volt. Okay, so we'll buy the 9-volt. That gives us a charge. And we teleport it into our item room. And then I guess we're just gonna go. But let's be like ultimate badasses and we'll leave this way. Yo, I'm not using your fucking doors, Grandpa. Depths 2 with yet another Curse of Darkness. And we have six minutes and some to get the boss rush on this floor. That is definitely going to happen. Hermit card is actually better for our purposes than the Fool card. I appreciate it. You know what I was just thinking about it? We have Undefined anyway. We could just Undefined ourselves out of the boss room. I'm sure that many people probably have already divined that for themselves. But hey, now I've divined it for myself as well. That's It's a positive of this item for sure. We'll check into our double key room. I don't really want to uh, re-roll our whole run because we have Undefined, which is zany enough and a lot of fun and still strategically beneficial. It's really like the best of all possible worlds, you know, Candide style. But if we could, uh, I don't know, if we could find like a five room in the future, I might consider it. Forget Me Now can be pretty useful. Especially when it doesn't completely ruin your spacebar item. I gotta stop being lazy on that room. That's just pure laziness, I'll tell you. What we will do is actually go fight our boss, use our Hermit card right away, rather than using Undefined and risking uh, uh, a situation where we miss out on our item room. So we can have our cake and eat it too. I don't know how we did so much damage right off the cut there, but um, that's okay. I would really like that guy to die, and he did. Usually, you can fuck with uh, Blue Mom a little bit and get some extra spirit hearts. I think every living enemy gives you a spirit heart when Blue Mom dies. Or maybe it's just like a random amount of spirit hearts. I'm not sure though. But oftentimes you kill Blue Mom and there's a bunch of spirit hearts and you go, oh, I, what? That didn't used to be there. Hopefully there are some enemies on the screen in the future that maybe we could take advantage of this with. It's all right. Yeah, sure. Well, leave that. You know, my best friend or punching bag is distracting them. There you go. We got like five, six spirit hearts there. I don't know what's causing that. Uh, but that's okay. Razor blade, not really interested. And, I mean, do we really want super bandage for free? I'm not taking how to jump. I think we just, I don't like it, but we end up taking like ball of tar. Lovely. Uh, now we'll find our item room and then we'll start teleporting like crazy. Like, Ball of Tower is not a great item, but you can hopefully follow my um, my lead on that one, or like my understanding. Let's start. How to jump? Spacebar item. Replaces uh, Undefined. Same for Prayer Card. Neither of those really factored into my decision. So it becomes uh, Ball of Tar or Super Bandage, and I was already at the HP cap. We'll take this because it gives us extra damage, but um, I was already at the HP cap anyway, so I kind of figured, like, we'll just take the obvious one. And we'll do some teleporting here. Wouldn't mind getting a uh, good pill. Liberty Cap is not something I'm going to be happy about. Wow. One pill in that whole situation. Ironically, it's a luck upgrade. You got a charge in here for me? Yes, you do. Also, oh, that's new. Okay. Also, if we just go back to our boss room. Uh, there's so many spirit hearts in there that we can sharp plug easily to uh, another charge, maybe even another two charges, depending on how much we want it. I guess there's no reason not to go back for that money. I'm a little disappointed with the way Boss Rush panned out, but that's okay. You know, we tried. It looks like we can get one legitimate charge here. Maybe. 
I'm not worried about our HP at all. Uh, Goat Head is good, of course. A little later than I'd like to see it, but uh, whatever. Probably no arcade on this floor, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think that's a fair uh, assessment at this point. And now, there will not be another uh, natural charge for us here, which is disappointing. If only I'd fought in Boss Rush, I could have teleported once more. If, we had, if, if Trickle Charge, aka AAA Battery drops here, then we'll be good. Didn't think that was likely. The Fool. So I guess we walk into our boss room. Oh, we can't even use Sharp Plug if we're not at zero. Like, if we're not at zero charge for something. So I guess that's that's that then. We don't have Nuns Habit. So yeah, we're, we're done. You guys? I accidentally walked in the hole in the floor without getting the Polaroid or the fucking... Negative. I don't even know what to say. It was right there, and I was I was walking around. I was like, should I pick up the spirit hearts? Oh, I don't know. The sharp plug things in the web, blah, blah, blah. And then just all of a sudden, no, nah, I fucked it. But... That might... <laughs> what? What? No! I want to go back. I mean, I'm happy with contract from below. But by using undefined, we might still be able to get down to the dark room. Maybe. If we get like, especially considering we have sharp plug, it might be conceivable. Um, this is the weirdest shit. All right, this run is just straight up. You know, it was jacked from the beginning. We, if we like win the run and get an ending, will it reset our streak? Even if we don't beat Blue Baby, this is this is trademark. You know, post stressful run Northern Lion shit right here. It's st a stressful run because we, you know, we're still farming for Platinum God, sort of, but, um, you know, just making some weird-ass mistakes that are uncommon, to say the least. Still, uh, a sloppy play that doesn't necessarily totally sink our run and opens up a new line of strategic thought. Let's frame it positively, shall we? It's a bit weird, but interesting nonetheless. Damage not quite where I would like it to be, but it's okay. I still want to get back to that error room. You know, six red chests, that's nothing to sneeze at in terms of guppy chances. Okay, yeah. I mean, we've been down this road a lot. I think I've decided that, uh, you know, pills, they're not for me. Probably had some damage over time. Wait. Let me think about this. Because I took 9 volt, is sharp plug just completely fucked up for us? How many weird, like, minor synergistic mistakes did I make on this run? So we can't use Sharp Plug because we're always going to be at one charge. We're never going to be at zero. That's fucking weird, man. That's all that needs to be said about that, I feel. We got some weird-ass shit going on in our run right now. That doesn't mean that the run's ruined. It just means I won't be able to hit as many undefines as I'd like. Gotta be careful of those red chests teleporting us to the fucking... Devil rooms as well. That one wouldn't have been so bad, I guess. Okay, second secret room. Cool, yeah, I mean, we were just here, but... That is what it is. I mean, we're getting down from this floor no matter what. It doesn't matter. I'm a little flabbergasted. This is a very strange situation to be in. Daddy long legs. If you could just pay out with, like, the halo... Or tears or something like that. I, you know, I should... I don't think really we're going to have a problem beating Satan. Why am I specifically gunning for Satan? Actually, that's true. If we can get to the cathedral, it doesn't really matter. Can we get to the cathedral? Or Because, okay, here's why. We have a goat head, so after Mom's heart, we're definitely going to get a deal with the devil. That if nothing else, even if we don't get the beam of light that comes down, we can go down. Because we have the goat head. Okay, and then all we need to do is on shoal have the ability to uh, get an undefined into an error room. Let's us go down to the dark room, maybe? Is that our way out? Otherwise, you know, this ends up being a shoal run. That's weird. I don't like myself right now. Like myself a little bit less after that, but hey, you know, I'm just over here to see what consumables this guy has. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got, though? You got some good stuff? No? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I understand it. It's life, man. It's precious life. Alright, two keys, yeah. 
Like that shit right there? Teleport out of your spike fucking glazed ring right there. I'm not dealing with your bullshit any longer. We will have to go back in that direction. But, you know, that's that's a long-term consequence. That's for future Ryan to be concerned with. Current Ryan couldn't give two shits about what's going to happen in that room. That is our regular room. Regular secret room, I should say. Gave us a spirit heart. That's pretty crazy. I wouldn't have expected that. You know, our definitions of crazy might differ, but... I didn't expect the spirit heart to be... Uh, why, why, why? No, I hate myself. This room is like, if you can't fly, your life is going to start sucking pretty bad, pretty quick. Hey, we never have to do it again. Justice. Hey, justice. Really hoped for a spirit heart amongst those, but we got one back from the time we got hit anyway. Easy enough. Guppy. Guppy. Whoa. Okay. We don't have to beat mom's heart. We might as well just head down to the next floor. Why waste our time? And anyway, if we get away with it, we might not have to fight Satan either. Three red chests might be worth it. That was a decent start. All things considered. Yeah, okay. I'll live with it. Hey! It's a guppy item. Still not holding out a ton of hope for our uh, long-term guppy chances, but that's alright. We need uh, something to do with our keys anyway, since we're not going to the regular chest, so... The opportunity to use these keys on golden chests is not lost on me. I like these guys when they're a little bit more predictable. One more room and we'll have a uh, undefined ready. We'll probably only get, you know, three or four cracks of this here. Could work though. Probably wouldn't have used a bomb there if I'd known that it wouldn't hit him and he would just, you know, free himself from his corporeal prison soon anyway. Don't ever shoot at me and hit me again, if you want to live. Okay. Second secret room. I don't know, I'm working my way back there, I guess, so we can fight Satan, but now that I think about it, why would we want to fight Satan? I guess I kind of want to fight Satan just to see what'll happen. You think it'll give me the ending? Or do you think it'll just give me a chest? Does it normally just give you a chest? Maybe we don't even need the negative in the Polaroid, man. Maybe we've just been taking them, because that's what Ed has trained us to fucking believe, you know? Maybe, maybe it's just a construct of our fucking minds. The reality of the situation is the power to unlock the chest and the dark room was within you the whole time. I hate this room, by the way. I feel like I've been saying that a lot recently. Easy enough, Guppy. All right, that's okay. Oh, I'm at the HP cap, so I'm gonna fight him. I just want to see what happens. I want to see if we are living in the construct of Ed's mind. It's an Ed world, and we're just living in it. A little scared by the way these guys are interacting. Very much should not have taken damage right there. That's on me. All right, we'll fight this dude. I don't really care about keeping bombs, because, I don't know. I don't love our chances on the dark room to begin with, but more than that, I don't even love our chances of getting to the dark room, so I'm not overly concerned about our long-term survival at this moment. Or our long-term damage dealing potential. So this, this boss is walk slowly backwards boss. Oh yeah, right, because we have my best friend, it's gonna be like nearly impossible to actually hit these things. Unless we're firing at our own familiar. That one fell pretty close to me. That one did not. One of these days, this will be over. We'll be able to laugh about it. Maybe we'll go back to playing a non-Eden uh, run in our next run, because I have clearly proven myself completely incapable of handling Eden tonight. Handling Eden coming this fall to the CW. Eden is a grocery store clerk who blah, 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 Alexis B. Dell, blah, 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 Lauren Graham, blah, blah, David Boreanis, blah, blah, Eden, handling Eden. It's coming on, it's going to get the second slot on the must-watch Wednesdays after Shackleton ER. 
please. I'm actually embarrassed with that damage. But Guppy! Okay. Okay, we got one more Guppy item. We can't fly yet. I thought we were a little closer. That's okay. Should have been cracking open mushrooms to look for 48-hour energies. But I don't even know if that's in our rotation, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Guppy! Alright, this run can end now. Okay. Demon Tail is not really what I'm at after here. Well, this will be like the most powerful failure we've ever had. Maybe. We'll see. There might be enough rooms left to get one more charge. It's not technically a failure. I mean, it'll still probably count as a win. This was sort of worth it. Replaced one of our hearts with a black heart. Well, we're certainly doing a lot better against Loki than we were recently when we fought him, so I can't really complain about our damage too much, but I can complain about the fact that I'm being a big idiot about it. I mean, this is a win that I've turned into a win with an asterisk. One room away from getting a charge here. I really doubt we're getting two charges on this floor, so we might as well just go for it. Oh. Oh. You know what? Now that I look at it, we might be able to get two charges here. Big room should give double the charge. Think about that. I'm full of terrible game advice for or game design advice for the team tonight. Don't do that. Yeah, sure. Let's get all the guppy items on the same floor. Contract from below left hand, man. It's actually like really powerful. In case you hadn't noticed. We'll check it out. We probably got another couple of guppy items in there. You know, let's get the hairball. We haven't seen that yet. Where did this chest go? It looks increasingly likely that we will... What? Increasingly likely that we will get another charge. I can't believe we're balling out of control now that I... My ability to ball is not related to my ability to get from point A to point B. Please, just let me go. This is almost certainly going to be our last opportunity. Oh, there's not even enemies? Well, that's it. This run's over. <sighs> this is how we do it. It's Friday night. I feel all right. The party's here on the west side. We got no, no greed in our secret room, so that's just going to do it. Well, it's a win. Oh, shit, I haven't seen the Satan ending in a while. I, pff, one, It says one next to it, so I'm going to take that as a win. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.